Hey guys, welcome to another week in the life of Spice and Rice. I kind of shot the beginning and end of this video out of order. So you'll see, I've already gotten the haircut. I hope you enjoy. And I'm gonna go pick up Babe Logio, but before I do that, I'm gonna go shower just because she won't let me shower when she gets home. She's all- Babe Logio is home. And I wanna let you know what kind of setup she has done by herself. By the way, this is Tim Tracker. He's a Disney YouTuber. And I really like watching his vlogs because they're so unbiased. Mom, Mom. This is your popcorn. Yeah, that's a doggy toy. So she asked me for the candle. So that's a Yankee candle behind. And she has my phone, which like I said, she has set up everything by herself. I gave her a little bit of the eggplant delight and she loves it. And then we ate some raisins. And then you had some Teddy Grahams. Do you think it's time to shower? No. You have to. No. <laughs> she even knows to turn it vertical sometimes. Daddy Joe is not home yet. We have, he can finish the rest of my Boone's Time meal. He likes it too. Gonna take Babe Joe for a shower and I'll talk to you later. Good morning, so I'm at work now. It's a Tuesday and first patient is a COVID to home. So I will be getting on Doxy. Hey, Spice and Rice. So I just got home from work. Outfit of the day, haven't been doing those, but Weather's getting warmer, especially during the afternoons. And so I got Babel Gio, another jacket. Well, her favorite color is purple. I think she likes the darker shade, but they didn't have the darker shade. I got it in 2T. I don't know if I should have gotten larger than that. Electricity bill, $38.58. Vivi is taking her baby doll out for a walk again. Where are you going? <laughs> she has socks on her hands. Oh no, baby's falling. You have to put her in a seatbelt. Hey guys, today is Saturday and we are going to Albuquerque. It's our once in a month jaunt down to the epicenter of New Mexico and doing a little bit of tourism. We're gonna check out Sandia Peaks, I think, and then we're gonna check out the natural history in children's. This is our packing, the food, the cooler. Yeah, you wanna read that? Hey guys, so we finally made it to the car at 10.07, which was our estimated plan of attack of leaving. So, here's the setup. I'm in the second row. She's watching an animal show of Hati, Wawa, and her doo-doo are on one side, and Baby Doll are on the other. And then Daddy Joe, he's peeing, so. We are at the Albuquerque Science Museum, and it's also the Natural History Museum. Let me show you the outside. Natural History and Science Museum. This is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And that is a Stegosaurus. I believe I'm getting these right. Wow, we are in the museum. So tickets here are $7 for the Just the Museum and $10 for the museum and one movie. So we got one museum and one planetarium. Here's a map of the museum and here are the tickets. Gift shop. Wow. Oh, look, the fingers move. Oh, the, the head even moves. Whoa. Look at the size of Jupiter versus Earth. Mars science collection. Total recall. New Mexico Martian salsa for $7.95. This is a full scale replica of the Mars rover. This is moon rock. Bibugio is currently in the Natural History Museum and she wants to put her hands on things and she wants to explore. Whoa! 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 Whoa. My goodness! Ball. It's, it's a ball! Oh, ball! Wow, Are now you're looking you're at. See. You're see. Are you yeah. looking at the red one? Yeah. No, she was a button. Oh, she likes to press buttons. <laughs> Nothing really comes out. Come on. Earth selfie. Let's go take an Earth selfie, okay? Swipe to rotate the globe. Oh my Whoa. goodness, look at the globe. India! 
Here is China. <gasps> Ooh, that's Mercury. Press another one. That one doesn't work. The good top one. <gasps> Whoa. Oh. Dinosaur is ah yeah, it's coming. Oi. Is it a doggy or a dinosaur? Oh, bo bo bo. Is it bo bo? Oh, it is a bo. How is it a bo bo? Hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, she's petting the dog. Oh, you're so loving. Are you having fun, Bay Blue? Bay Blue? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. It's the, everybody, their noses are so sensitive. They, you know, the pheromones on everybody are different. I see. And yeah. they can tell the difference. Sure, sure. The dog I said is really bad. Oh. It's so bad. Oh, my God. Like the coloration is yeah. even worse. Modern breeds. Oh, look at this dog. You're so fast. Whoa, two point eight. Let's go see mommy's passion. <laughs> Isn't dinosaurs your passion? That is you, it is. I like all the Jurassic World movies. Even the second and third ones, they were well, not as good though. They were not as good, but the first one was very good. Yeah, first one was very good. We are entering the dinosaur area. This is probably my favorite area. Potentially. Oh These are some giants. It's such a big body but a very small mouth. Wow, look at this. It's like one foot. Oh, hello, the world famous esteemed personality. This so, is the part that Mama Jo loves the most. We did and this for Daddy Joe, by the yes, way. Yes, thank you, Mama Jo. It's a curve. Oh, no, she's gonna fall in. Oh, Gio. So, we had a choice between the dinosaur and the planetarium. And I opted for the uh, dinosaur, but Daddy Joe trumped me with his planetarium talk. So, here we are. Finished the planetarium movie and it was narrated by Jodie Foster and it was educational for sure. I didn't find it that exciting to be honest. What did you, what did you think of the planetarium movie? I liked it a lot. I probably got a good eight and a half on ten I'd say. Now we're gonna check the degrees of change. This is a section of the museum dedicated to global warming and climate change. Oh ethanol's from corn? Support local farms, head for fresh food areas of the supermarket, and eat more fruits and vegetables. Meat and dairy require more resources to produce. This is a redwood tree, and do you see how big it is? It's like bigger than me. It's 900 years old. Christopher Columbus. Marco Polo explores China. Whoa, you're touching history. So the unstressed trees have rings that are very equidistant, and the stressed you see this, this area is like very wide. This ring, it shows the areas of scarring from different fires. Okay, so behind me is the holy mammoth. I'm using, I switched to my phone. I think the phone has recently done a pretty good job because before I felt like the phone image was not as bright as the camera image, but now I think iPhone has changed that recently. So it's quite bright. All right, let's go into the cave. Well, we're entering the ice age. Liquid rock. I'm stepping through the fire for you, Daddy Joe, for your love. Oh. oh. Underwater. Look, this is simulating water. Are you having fun? Yeah. Okay. Is this the most fun you've had in a in a month? Yes. Oh. <laughs> She's like, I feel so I'm not like full of like. She's like, I don't need to watch TV right now. I'm. I have so much to see here. Hello. Oh, smiley, smiley. Yeah. oh yeah. Well, are these real? 
Actually, yeah, yeah, because they're putting it in the... Wow. I feel like every time I see this, I think of Indiana Jones. All right, we just finished with the New Mexico Science and Natural History Museum. And I just want to say it was a great experience. It's quite affordable. Like, the only comparison I have is when I went to the Chicago Natural History Museum. And certainly it's not as big and grandiose as that, but that is, of course, Chicago. However, I think New Mexico does a pretty good job and Albuquerque does a great job of bringing some natural history into the city. So some good culture. All right, now we're going to Cheesecake Factory. Daddy Joe, what did you think of the Natural History and Science Museum? I love the museum. It was an amazing experience. It was not as expansive compared to some of the bigger cities like New York, Chicago, but I think they did a very good job. The entry fees was, I think, $7? $7 for just the museum. Yes. And like $3 extra for each of the exhibits, so. Yes. So I think it was amazing for the price of it, for sure. Was it a very comprehensive experience? I don't think so. Given the amount of time we had, and especially the small baby, I think this was perfect. It's perfect. You are currently at the Cheesecake Factory. Oh. She's like, you took my Wawa sorry, straw. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. She called me out. No kissy kissy. Is, okay, is it okay to kiss you? She says yes. No, she says no. She's like, I'm eating my bread. See, no problem. The loving girl, she loves Daddy Gio. And she knows that Daddy Gio loves her the most. There's nobody else who loves her more I'm gonna than pan Daddy out. Gio. I'm gonna pan out. <laughs> that is a confirmation of the statement made earlier. We are ending the night with Bibuju and Daddy Joe on the phone. I'm not naked by the way. I'm still wearing clothes, okay? This looks like I may have been, but I'm not. Good morning. Today is day two of our trip in Albuquerque and we are going to Sandia Peaks. Watching Coco Melon, her favorite. Hey guys, I just want to show you. This is Cibola National Forest and behind me is the city of Albuquerque. And you can sort of see downtown. It's kind of in the middle. This is 5,000 feet below. Over here. So I just got back from getting my hair cut. I got it at this Asian place called Saigon Hair and Nails. I don't know how I feel about it. I It takes me a couple days to get used to it and then I'll give you my response. It is Tuesday, first day of the work week for me. I've officially washed it. They parted it in the middle, which I've not had the part in the middle probably since I was like seven. Is it my favorite haircut of all time? No, but I think it's like sustainable if I go to this hair salon. I think they understand Asian hair because my hair is like a broom. It's very firm, needs a lot of trimming and thinning. I'm really craving hot and sour soup, so I might go over to our, our Chinese restaurant and This is them. rice and shrimp with lobster sauce. It's like one of my favorite dishes. Hey guys, what's up? So, I just came to Valmat. My friend Lauren was talking about making homemade cheesecake. Well, I don't have the capacity to make homemade cheesecake. I do a lot of break and bake stuff. So I got Philadelphia cheesecake. I really should be staying away from too much meat and so, and carbs. That's like the main thing. It's like an aggravator. So I got Boca Burgers. And then Bebo Gio was really into juice recently. And so tangerine juice, juicy juice for 100% kids. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please hit that like button. If you want to watch more, please hit subscribe. Bye, guys.